We've all seen them in gangster movies. Bad guys who force small shop owners to pay for protection. I enjoy collecting protection money. The worst thing about it was in the percentages. I enjoy planting bombs in people's cars. The shop owner always had to pay 50 to 75% of his revenue to the gangster just to stay in business. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Otherwise, it never turned out too good for the shop owner. The bad guys are back. Only this time, the percentages have become 100 to 125% of revenues. Retroactively, or else. The recording industry is at it again. They're attempting to shut down all internet radio stations. That is, unless they agree to pay them more money than the business could ever possibly make. Wait, more money than the business could ever make? Who could afford to do that? I'll tell you, the very rich, those with the moolah, those with money to burn. If the record companies have it their way, only the very rich will be able to afford to broadcast on the internet. And what will internet radio sound like then? Not very good. Protect your right to the most diverse internet content landscape. Write or email your congressman and senator and ask them to work to repeal the decision of the Copyright Royalty Board. Do you really want rich guys deciding what you should hear on the internet? Only the little guys are getting hurt by the new rules. They don't have enough money, so they go off the air. It only takes a few minutes. Protecting the little guys from the fat cats. After all, doesn't the recording industry have some little old lady or an 11-year-old kid somewhere to sue? I've fallen and I can't get up. When you're addressing this court, you will rise and speak to me in a clear, intelligible voice. Do it now.